Central University of Technology at Ture, that's in Ondo State. We're here to cover the inaugural lecture by Professor Mary Tolulofe on phytochemicals. And the theme of the, the lecture is respect that incapacitates the gladiators of the human health. And then right now she's in the hall lecturing the whole world on that. And then um, we are going to be taking um, other people, other opinions of people on the same topic. My name is Anita Alia. This is the Bosa Digital Channel covering like the uh, inaugural lecture at Federal University of Technology at Ture in Kondo State. Keep watching and it clicks in, clicks in and around the inaugural lecture by Professor Mary Tolidoso. Thank you. My interest in the study of medicinal plants was further strengthened while carrying out the research for my doctorate. The topic of my PhD thesis was phytochemical and toxicological investigation of Pepsi Americana and Aristos Abolita. The research findings of this thesis gave me interesting insights into the potential of phytochemicals from my study plants. And other conferences have led me to the discovery that phytochemicals are antagonists of the gladiators of human health. Biochemistry. Biochemistry is the study of chemical processes taking place in living organisms like plants. Human beings, animals, and material units. It entails the other and molecular levels. It also uses the methods of chemistry, physics, molecular biology, and immunology to elucidate the structure of the complex molecules found in biological materials and their interactions with one another. This is the outcomes of medicine, agriculture, and many medical and health related to industry. Medicinal plants. Medicinal plants are plants that contain. Thank you to have, we want to have your take on this inaugural lecture by Professor Mary Olave here. Well, um, inaugural lecture, then uh, what is common in university, but you can see that she has been able to prove to us that she's not just awarded the professorship. She has been able to speak to all her works and the, uh, uh, the potential inherent in all she did, which, when implemented, will be a breakout uh, uh, for treatment of so many diseases in the country. They have done very well and excellent. Thank you, KBSC, for your take. Well, Laurie, let's quickly have your one take on education in Nigeria, that's on health. Well, health in Nigeria is, um, uh, is something that we, we need to take carefully because our health is very, very much important in Nigeria. So by using this drug she has, she has given on to us, I mean, the, 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 the use of the leaves that she has given on to us, I think it will help us in a, uh, by taking care of our health in Nigeria. Thank you, upon your inaugural lecture. Uh, quickly tell us what gave you the um, 
the idea to put this lecture together. The norm is when you are a professor, you tell the public the findings that have led to the announcement of the professorship. In my time since I started my first degree, I've been working on plants. Phytochemicals found in the nuclear plant have been discovered. The potential agent to solve some of the diseases, especially the, the, the ones that are associated with aging, like Hazomia disease, Parkinson's disease, hypertension. So the difference between what we did and what we do outside is that in our own case, we claim it is doing it, we want to validate it is doing it. When it is doing it, what is that thing doing it? And if you are able to know what is doing it, that is the potential. What is the mechanism? What is the safety dosage? And what, at what dosage does it become? Against our background, Mark, it's like you are really um, specialized in herbs. Do you think Nigerians should believe in herbs or the uh, English medicine? If you listen to my lecture, my lecture, I get some recommendation that we have these herbs around us, and they are very, very rich in health promoting and Now, what the Nigerian government needs to do is to establish various centers all over the local government. We have openings. We have government that will help us. Cultivate, cultivate and do proper identification so that when researchers want to work, they have access to it. And apart from that, uh, funding should be made available for researchers to continue the effect of knowing what is doing it to ascertain safety, use of this therapeutic potential. And also that there should be a synergy between researchers and the pharmaceutical companies. Most of the ones they brought, many of them are also from plants. But because they are importing their own something, with the yes. the value added price and the like, it becomes more expensive. And this one, we grew with it. There's what is called adaptation. Our body quickly tolerates it. Many of us grew taking this when we were young. So now the difference is that you know what is a safe dosage, you know what is working there, you know the contraindication. All right. And uh, lastly, Ma, uh, let's just say that you're advising Nigerians to go back to the roots. Is that what you're trying yes. to say? But they cannot really go back and do it effectively without the involvement of the federal government. Good. So what is your take on that, Ma? My take is that many of the time, you see one of these plants, they resemble one another. So see my picture, I just took something. Without proper identification, you may be dealing with other things. So when you have agrarian centers, you know, the local government, they grow, they cultivate, and they preserve it. So you want to work on this, or you want to use it, you just have access, and you are sure what you are working with. All right. Thank you very much, Ma, for giving us this lecture and for giving us your take on this. Congratulations, Ma. We expect more from you, Ma. Thank you very much. I worship you today. If you choose, if you hear my truth. Oh
worship you today. Ibu chugu, ibu hima tu. Onye ne me ma, I give you all the praise. Ibu chugu mo, ibu hima tu. Ibu chugu mo, ibu chugu mo. Ah, you never change. I give you all the 